Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. I hope my voice is coming good. Please invite your friends and let us share with whoever we have. And later, don't forget to download the video right after we finish. Uh, actually, I wanted to go earlier today, but uh, I had some work to do, so I had to reschedule because I wanted to be early and to be with the people from Asia. But what we can do sometimes, there's things you want to do, but you cannot accomplish it. Uh, our topic today is about why Islam as a cult need a government protection. Uh, you know, <clears throat> we saw, and all of you saw, uh, how Muslims, they uh, went in the street, even in the middle of Europe, taking advantage of the, you know, how friendly European are. Um, and go in the street and they have a sign that says behead those who insult the Prophet uh, our dead in paradise you're dead in hell and the uh, European uh, police did not even arrest anyone because you know this is something uh, should not be uh, this is not tolerance this is stupid and actually here this picture is in Sydney those who want to behead people for whatever open opinion obviously they are terrorists and they should be deported and should go to jail immediately uh, <clears throat> but because European they are very tolerant actually this is why they have those signs and they are not worried about carrying them we saw as an example Obama uh, making a statement saying the future must not belong to those who slander the Prophet of Islam so Obama who presents supposedly at that time when he was a president he present the freedom world where everybody can see his mind but in the freedom world of Obama who elected by the liberals who claim too much of being freedom supporters blah, 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 you know they have no problem with such a statement which is nothing but terrorism because when you say to me you have no future if you insult a man who is this man a man who died 1400 years ago that's mean you are saying I'm going to stop you with all means and I am as a president speaking now and I have the power now for sure that's a stupid talk and nobody will be able to practice it because in order to stop insulting Muhammad you have to make a law to stop insulting any religion which mean all Muslims they have to go to jail if they if you practice it because all Muslims insult Christianity all Muslims insult the Bible all Muslims insult Jesus so how you can practice such a stupid idea so what is really uh, uh, what what those people want and what what the accomplishment the accomplishment simply maybe we can make a law and even the, the Muslims they uh, submit uh, uh, a request to the United Nations to criminalize anyone who insult Islam imagine they are using United Nation to make a law that if you insult Islam you go to jail now for sure uh, you know they were not able to be successful and many people they were laughing at this idea uh, actually if they make such a law by the way all the actors who work in Hollywood they will go to jail you will not find a single movie almost unless they say the F word to the Messiah and we Christian we don't do anything about it and we will not we believe everybody is free to say whatever he want but if you practice such a law you will put those people in jail so the stupid idea those who sponsor they will be the first people to go to jail however I don't care who is speaking to stop insulting Muhammad Muhammad himself is an insult to humanity and we have the right to insult the insult when we go in the Quran and we find the Muhammad in the Quran he called the Christians pigs and monkeys the worst worth worth of the creatures uh, nudges dirty filthy uh, uh, kill them wherever you find them and then you are saying the one who insult Muhammad we should stop him why what's your problem the problem is very simple 
you are not insulting Muhammad you are exposing Muhammad and they don't want you to expose Muhammad Muhammad he used violence since the beginning of his message if we can call it a message and the Muslims today, especially those who they are, you know, like uh, they play like, okay, we are not really, we sponsor no violence. They say Muhammad did not, you know, Muhammad was resisting, Muhammad was fighting back. Muhammad, the, the verse is in front of you. If they repent and they do the prayer, which means they convert to Islam, they are your brother in religion and don't kill them. And if they violate their oath, and they leave Islam and they attack your religion fight them and by the way the Muslim they say uh, there is no apost uh, apostasy law in the Quran that is the verse in front of you you pray you convert to Islam with you know we don't kill you we stop killing you you leave Islam your oath what is the oath the Shahada you took an oath and they criticize criticize of your religion do you see it it's in the front of your eye this is the Muslim translation not my translation by the way this is the Mohammedan translation so if you criticize Islam anyone criticize Islam the Prophet of Islam his God saying kill him and the funny we have a Muslim in the chat he is saying proof <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you know, a Muslim when he listened to me, he he, he sounds like a guy. He's sitting inside the box, uh, uh, and he closed the top of the box, and he think he is isolated from the world, and nobody can see him. You are inside the box. We see you. It, it's like an, a, a a rabbit who jump inside the hole in the ground, and he think the fox did not see him jump in there. He think he is secure there. What do you mean uh, proof? What proof? It's in the front of you on the screen. Are you going to say to me this is Daif? Isn't it Muhammad who said I've been ordered to fight all mankind until they convert or die? Oath is not Shahada. Okay, let us, let us uh, if, see if this is the oath is the Shahada. So are you saying that Shahada is not an oath? This is what Shahada. Shahada, you witness taking an oath. And the proof, if you uh, violate your oath, the shahada, you die. Isn't it your prophet, he says, the one who changed his religion, kill him? <clears throat> is that your prophet or someone else? So the one who violate his oath, and what is the oath you took? What you did? The Shahada, did you take another oath? What you did? Oh, what you did, you said uh, Muhammad is a prophet. That's it. That is it. You witness that Muhammad is a prophet. So if you leave Islam, they kill you. And here you see the terrorism of Muhammad start from the beginning. That either you believe in me or you die. There's no third option. And the funny, he says to me, proof. It's in the front of you. And the verses in the front of us in the Quran is clear. If they repent, repent to do what? What, what? what repent? Look what repent is. But if they repent and perform the salat, which means the prayer. And by the way, here, do you remember when David Wood, he says to Mimi Hijab, the word salah mean a prayer? Huh? <laughs> he said no. Mean blessing <laughs> anyway, but if they repent, perform the prayer and give the cat, so not only they have to convert, they have to convert, pray, and give the money, then they are your brother in religion and don't kill them. But what if they are not? But if violate the oath, what is the oath? The first one, if they repent and they don't want to pray and they don't want to do zakat, money is very important. This is why uh, uh, Abu Bakr, he said after the death of Muhammad, if, if somebody, he will not pay us the zakat, even the zakat is a little tiny goat, I will kill him. 
and he waged a war it's called the war of upper state you can search it right now in prophet Google peace upon him by the way in case you do not know prophet Google is a Muslim everything convert to Islam actually my TV is a Muslim there's a rabbit he's walking in front in the yard is a Muslim The mad, uh, mad cult. The cow is a Muslim. The donkey is a Muslim. The tree is a Muslim. I mean, what's wrong with those people? So, because Islam is a pure cult and cannot stand without protection, sword protection, literally. They have to keep it exist. The only way is violence and try to intimidate people. You know, live or die. You live as a Muslim or you die. Which one you choose? Well, people they would choose. Okay, uh, okay. Well, when I live, I have a family. This is why we see in the Quran there's a chapter. It's called the chapter of uh, uh, what it's called like a victory. Uh, <clears throat> When Muhammad he attack and he won the war you see the people entering into Islam by thousands what was the what what is the occasion victory what is the victory when comes the help of Allah to you Muhammad in what in the conquest of Mecca do you see it all people of Mecca enter Islam in one second Look, what happened yesterday they are anti Islam today and the second day they are Muslims all of them Do you see when the Muslim they say to you uh, Islam did not spread by the sword so yesterday the city all of it are Muslim anti-Islam they want to fight Islam and after two minutes they are Christians what happened they enter by thousands no debate no Zakir Naik I thought like Zakir Naik he went to Mecca and he said to them a hey, brother and sister if you can find better than the Prophet Muhammad I threatened you and let us debate together. I can assure you that in the Quran they did a lot of miracle. As an example, the Quran it did a lot of miracle, and I can count for you in this example. Like as an example, uh, as an example, um, give me the paper. Uh, as an example, not the paper. Yeah. Uh, as an example, okay, I get the paper. Uh, as an example, the speed of the light. As an example, we Muslims we lie in the speed of light, and nobody can beat us on that. The speed speed of light. So Zakir Naik did not go there. Muhammad did not debate them. He just entered by the sword, and everybody became a Muslim. And this is the Quran witnessing for that. Yeah, no, no, I don't bite my tongue. <laughs> no, I don't. So this is. Uh, this is a pure cult, a stupid cult. And okay, here we go. Yesterday we have a we have a kid. His name is uh, Faris. Uh, by the way, Faris is like a man. He's not a kid. He's like maybe forty-five years old. So he wrote for me. I hate you more than I hate myself. Now I understand you hate yourself. Why? Because you are a Muslim. But why you hate me? Because simply, I don't mind if you uh, if you are against Islam, but you use a bad language. Like what? I mean, look who is talking. The Quran call us all kind of filthy names. Starting from donkey. This religion is an enemy to everybody. Even the lizard is an enemy of Allah. Have you ever heard of a cult like this? They have even a fatwa against Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, they want to kill him. Let us see the fatwa. Here we go. Saudi cleric Muhammad, etc. Mouse, Mickey Mouse must die. And by the way, Mickey Mouse is saying hello to you. He's okay. Even Mickey Mouse is a threat to Islam. 
So isn't it obvious that this cult is so stupid and so foolish? Mickey Mouse. So like what now? Uh, 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 Osama bin Laden, he will hit the building of Mickey Mouse? If we ask uh, Zach and Nick, why Mickey Mouse is a threat, he will tell you the following. A brother and sister. All of us will have teeth. And all of us will have a teeth at home. And if you have a Mickey Mouse at home, he will eat your teeth. Do you accept somebody to eat your teeth? Absolutely not. And this is why Mickey Mouse must die. And actually, if you have a mice at home, don't you put a poison for it? Let us be honest here. Don't we put poison for the mice? So why you are making fun of putting fatwa on the Mickey Mouse? Which is the mice? Thank you very much, sister. Absolutely. I mean, we kill mice at the home. If you have a mice at home, I mean, why you are being hypocrite? What's wrong with you? Everybody kill the mice if it's home. So best because it's a Muslim who said we have to, 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 to kill Mickey Mouse, you get upset. Uh, uh, but the brother Zach and Ike, this is a, a cartoon. <laughs> it's a cartoon, you idiot. <laughs> Unbelievable. Astonishing, really. How in the world anyone can believe in such a madness? Mickey Mouse. And what Mickey Mouse? It, they did not even make in Mickey Mouse anything against Muhammad. What this guy did? <laughs> and you know. What about Santa Claus? They have a fatwa in Santa Claus too. And the Muslims, because they're kids, they love Santa Claus. In order to find Santa Claus idea, which is a very great idea actually, give it charity, help children, especially those who are poor. Uh, they come with the new Santa Claus. His name is Baba Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Baba Muhammad. Uh, I will try to find the news where it says, I don't know what. Uh, you know, in most of the Middle East, they call Santa Claus, they call him Papa Noel. Papa Noel. It's a French, you know. So the Muslims, uh, the Muslims, they come with the new Papa Noel. It's a Papa Muhammad. Why? Because Papa Noel is an uh, uh, is a what is like a is a Muslim. Uh, Papa Noel is a is a Christian uh, idea. So we have. Uh, and not only that, they have tons of articles in Arabic against Christmas. Do you know what Christmas mean? Do you know what a Christmas mean? And now the Muslims, they want to scare the hell of the Muslims from the Christmas. And this is why you see like how weak this cult is. You know, if you search right now in YouTube, let us go to YouTube. All right. Wish others Merry Christmas or Happy Holiday. Haram. Haram. You cannot do that. Shame on you. Muslims celebrating Christmas. All those videos against Christmas by Muslims. Can we say to non-Muslims, to the Christians, uh, Happy New Year, uh, Merry Christmas? Uh, you cannot. For that is a threat to Islam. Islam is a religion who teach violence and, uh, you know, so we cannot do that. You know, we Christian, we have no problem. I mean, you worship whatever you want. Uh, happy holiday, my friend, whatever your religion is. What the problem? No, but because Islam, 
is opposing that we can get a close as a human together we cannot do that look at this uh, the, uh, the, this is the nurse of Femi hijab look at this guy fatwa brother and sister it is haram brother Anyone who say Merry Christmas to the kuffar he is and and by the way a video like this YouTube will not take it Do you notice? YouTube will not take videos teaching. Hey, this is hate teaching uh, But my videos is hate teaching <laughs> Unbelievable isn't it is it weird all those videos are speaking teaching hate against Christians literally every single one of them and they wonder where terrorism is coming from. Like, they, you know, they cannot find where terrorism is coming from. It's in the front of you. And the reason they have a wave of hatred against uh, anything have to do with civilization, especially Christian civilization, because they are afraid that the Christian civilization will make Muslims civil. Do we have any Muslim here who don't agree with us? Yeah, you can complain. I mean, but you have endless to complain. Do we have any Abdul? Do you debate with any atheist? I have no problem with debate with an atheist. What he will say to me, he will tell me that he used to be an, an animal. Okay, I agree. He won. He was an animal, he's still an animal. So what we will debate about? Why I want to waste my time and debate about with an atheist? He want to convince me that he used to be a monkey. Okay, you are a monkey. And your ass is red. Actually, you, you used to be chimpanzee, and I agree. And why I want to debate with atheist? An atheist, he will beat me in two seconds. He will say, Christian Prince, do you like my banana? I cannot lie. I say, yes. He will say, see, I told you, our origin is a monkey. Second question, he will say, do you have hair in your body? I say, yes. He says, see? Our origin is a bear. I mean, come on, why am I debate atheist? Debating atheist is debating somebody he believes in stupidity. Somebody believes in an animal. Why would I would debate about what? Do you have a book? Their best example is Darwin, who he he captured a human being just because he's a black. He put him in a cage to prove that this is he is the origin of the monkeys. You know, atheism is a racist a cult. Uh, by the way, atheism is a religion too, because a, a, a religion is a group of people believe in something, and atheism is a religion. All terrorist organizations are Sunni. So, what is Hezbollah? <laughs> Mahdi, you are funny. What is Hezbollah, my friend? Hezbollah is not a terrorist organization, Al Houthi. Who shout death to America, death to Israel? Huh? Oh, you, your prophet is a terrorist. Isn't it your prophet? He says. What about Ali and Hassan who says kill those who don't believe in Allah? What about Ali who burn people alive? Give me give me a break, Mahdi. Let your dad talk to me. So do we have any Muslim here who want to tell us something good about this cult? What is left is, is good in this cult? What is left? You Muslim, you repeat uh, five times a day. Bismillah, even that doesn't make sense. Have you ever heard of a God? He says to himself, Bismillah, in the name of Allah. So who are you? Okay, let me make a speech. In the name of a Christian prince, uh, but you are a Christian prince. 
I know I'm a Christian prince, but I have to say in the name of Christian prince. But you should not say in the name. You say that if you're speaking in front, like I mean, presenting somebody, uh, like you get the authority from that person. You, but when you talk, you cannot say in the name of Allah. If you are Allah, I mean, the first word in the Quran is a crazy. What, what? Actually, by the way, this is not the first word in the Quran. Yes, it's the first chapter. But as you know, the Muslims they play with the Quran. They like to play with things. Like they like to play. If you go in the Quran, you will find that the chapter ninety-six is the first chapter which Muhammad supposedly received according to Muslims. Okay. A guy he come to you by by the way this is here in the beginning this is not a verse this is addition the Muslims they corrupt their book and they add it read with me Allah a guy he come to Muhammad he said to him read say hello say assalamu alaikum what's wrong with you a guy is sitting in the middle of the cave in the middle of nowhere he have no internet he have no WhatsApp he have no Instagram right away you come to him and you say read. I mean, have you ever heard of an angel like that? And the proof this angel cannot be a Muslim. He did not say "Assalamu alaikum." Why "Assalamu alaikum," Muhammad? Something he learned later from the Jews. The Jews they say "Shalom alaikum." This is a Jewish greeting. This is a Christian greeting. Peace to you. This is what the angel they say to Mary when they came to Mary. But as you see here. The angel supposedly he come to Muhammad. He did not say shalom Muhammad. He just uh, you go inside the house, a play inside the cave, and you say to him, Read. Ha? I mean, what is this? And Muhammad, he did not say to him, Who are you? Isn't this a story stupid? The angel he appeared to Muhammad as a man, as Muslims they claim. So didn't Muhammad say to him, Who are you, idiot? And I will read what. So from the beginning, the story is silly. And here, with the story, the real story says that, that this man, he squeezed uh, Muhammad three times. If we ask all the Muslims who they are in the chat, Muhammad was squeezed three times for what purpose? Who want to answer me? Who want to answer me? Why Muhammad was squeezed three times? Any Muslim? You see, you Muslim, you say Islam is anti-Trinity. And you are re rejecting the Trinity. But everything in Islam is a three time. In the name of Allah, the, the Rahman, the Rahim, three names. Allah is multiple of 99 names, which is number three. A Muslim, if he divorces his wife three times, he cannot marry the woman again unless she do boom boom with someone else. Why the angel he squeezed Muhammad three times? Any Muslim have an idea? <clears throat> huh? Let us see the story. Hold on. Read the story with me. Till suddenly the truth, the truth is who? Supposedly the angel. His name is the truth now. They change even his name. Descended upon him while he was in the cave of Hira. The angel came to him in it and asked him to read. The prophet replied, I do not know how to read, you idiot. <laughs> you know, here the story of Muhammad remind me of the pink panther. I mean, watch the pink panther. Uh, two. A pink panther too it's exactly like the pink panther what is that 
the angel came to him and asked him to read the prophet replied I do not know how to read now here there is a problem do the angels know that Muhammad do not know how to read or not do Muhammad know or knew how to read or not Muslim they say he do not okay do the angels know or you do not any Muslim and look the poor Muhammad he said to the angel I do not know how to read and the angel what he do the angel he cut me and he's forced me he squeezed me and press me so hard to the point I cannot breathe no more what the heck is that is that how we teach somebody how to read by squeezing him until almost he die do you think the angel was trying to squeeze in the knowledge of Muhammad out of his bum who is a Muslim will tell us what the squeezing is about we get the idea Muhammad cannot read the angel told him read now he's squeezing for what reason hmm and again Muhammad and then he released him I'm so glad they released him man otherwise until now they will be squeezing each other and then he said to me read I replied which mean again I do not know how to read whereupon he caught me again and he pressed me at the second time till I could not bear it no more like, what the heck what's happening here this is by the way here we need some uh, background in music like some action in music those hadith are all fake Mahdi, if, if this hadith is fake it means the quran is fake you idiot because the quran is a hadith don't you know i mean what's wrong with you is it the quran is a hadith and collected the same as the hadith even the quran says the best of the hadith is the quran obviously you are ignorant uh, forget uh, you are a muslim you earn it you earn it and nobody can compete with you isn't it the Quran is the best of the hadith all of it is hadith look look how many times the word hadith repeated in the Quran all of this is hadith so what do you mean read with me read uh, I forgot you don't know how to read I need to squeeze you uh, give you know let me get a closer Allah nazzala ahsan al hadithi kitaban you see ahsan al hadithi hadith the Quran is a hadith hello You know, I want to go to school in the Middle East. And the reason I was encouraged to go to school, especially after I became an adult, because they told me the teacher is a, is a pretty young female. And I said to myself, I wish she would do what Jibril he does with the prophet. Each time she asked me a question, she squeezed me. And I went there, I found the, the female, she was like a 65 years old. And like, I mean, this is not what they told me. And she wanted to squeeze me. I quit. I left the school immediately. What is a squeezing thing? Is that what do you do in Islamic school? You squeeze each other? Squeeze me, baby. And you notice here, Muhammad is not asking him why you are touching me. Stop touching me, man. I mean, a man squeezing a man. Shouldn't the other man say to him, what are you, what the heck are you doing? Shouldn't he punish him? Leave me, leave Brittany alone. I mean, it look like Muhammad, he used to be squeezed. He's, he used to it. When he see him in the street, he squeezed him. But Muhammad is like, what the heck? One more to squeeze me. Do we have any Muslim there?
uh, guys, do you know any school they teach by squeezing and the teacher all are females and they are beautiful? Imagine how many guys they will register there. I mean, the school will, will I mean, the size of the classroom will increase. So uh, I remember when I was in England, uh, we have a classroom. Uh, we have two females. They are from Turkey. When they are in the classroom, the classroom have like 45 people. Even the teacher, he said, where are you guys I'm coming from? All the students from the other class, they come to our class just to be in the class where those two Turkish girls are there. They are literally in the bikini. Even the teacher, he is so shy to look. I don't know, really. The, the teacher, he looked like he's going to fill in the in, in his face. He cannot even look at them. They were presenting Erdogan. So, Muslims, what we would do now? What is the what is this? I'm really convinced that Muhammad is a prophet. I mean, look, if he is not a prophet, he won't be squeezed, especially three times. And look, he told him I cannot read. And then what happened? He asked me, uh, he released me and asked me again to read. This is the third time. But again, I replied, I do not know. I mean, what's wrong with this idiot angel? He, he, he told you already he do not know. Thereupon, he cut me for the third time. Here we go, the Trinity again. The Trinity. And then he uh, pressed him so hard, and then he released him again, and he said, read in the name of your Lord. Okay, hold on, hold on. Why you did not tell him from the first time, read in the name of your Lord? The guy, he said to you, I cannot read. Tell him, read in the, what, what, what this is the three squeezing for. Any Muslim knows? Those hadith are made by Aisha. And your hadith is made by who? By Fatima? Who she ate the Viagra and she get the power of 40 men in sex? Hmm? When Allah, he sent the Kufayt to Muhammad, Muhammad, he made Fatima eat with him. But the Kufayt was sent for his private part to make it boing. Fatima, she eat with him to do what? Just let it go. Come on. I feel sorry for uh, Ali. After Fatima, she ate this uh, Viagra for the power of 40 men. What she used to do to Ali in the bed? Only Allah knows, brother. I think she's squeezing 40 times. I don't know where this fly came in from. Guys, should I dip it, dip it in the soup? I have a fly. I don't know where the fly is. should be there somewhere is open. I, I, I never saw a fly. Uh, this is, uh, this, I, I should register this day. Maybe when I open the door. Uh, by the way, in case like for those who they are uh, they are not educated, in case a fly fell down in your soup, the prophet he said you have to dip it uh, because there is uh, a medicine in one wing and the disease in the other wing. So look at the intelligence of Allah. By dipping it, dipping it, huh? Uh, that the disease will be stopped by the medicine, which is the other wing. I mean, look at look at the logic. One wing versus the other wing. So now we have two wings, and each wing have uh, one wing have a, a cure, and the other wing have a disease. Uh, so what do we do, brother? In this case, we can eat it. I mean, Muhammad, no wonder he did not know how to read. I mean, obviously, this is a statement of somebody he never read anything. Now I believe it. And I want to see the Muslims doing that, you know. I want to I wanna see those um, Abdul who claim that the, the Prophet, he taught medicine. Do it, do live videos, you know, dip it, dip it, <laughs> yeah, enjoy it. Yeah, only fly, only fly. And Muhammad he did not mention something else, no. But by the way, scientists uh, from Japan, there is a scientist, they are very well known, they did study this and they found that this is true. 
and the scientist name Yama I do lie Yama I fabricate Yama I'm Yama <laughs> <laughs> the Muslim they make articles and they insert tons of names of people either they are not exist or they are exist but they never said what they said as an example brother George Bernard show he says if the Prophet was exist brother he can solve all the problem of the world brother during the time of drinking his coffee in the morning George Bernard show says that where which book uh, this book is not exist I will not be surprised if after I die the Muslim they say Christian Prince said yeah in his one of his books by the way Christian Prince before he die he gave a finger because you have to put a finger up he gave a finger to the sky to Allah and he said Shahada why Muslims you give a finger to the sky when you say Shahada I mean shame on you give your hand give a finger Do we have any Abdul? So to make it short, I don't, I don't want to make this video long, really. It's not my intention, uh, but I, I'm really convinced that Muhammad is a prophet, especially with the squeezing and the wisdom he have. Actually, you know, what, what? Look, look here between two bracket with the Muslims, the advert. Antidote for it? Look, look at this language look anti dot I'm I'm so glad they did not say antibiotic Unbelievable. and by the way Muhammad uh, in case you do not know he didn't have a degree but he is a doctor he is really highly highly education educated by Allah uh, one of the things which I find it astonishing when Muhammad he says as you know we mentioned that before that if a man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy and if the man, if the women have orgasm, the baby will be a girl. And obviously, if the man and the women they have orgasm at the same time, you will have a transgender. <laughs> I don't really, this is deep. This is really deep. This is a truly, truly, a trolling prophet. I mean, who can come with this except a prophet of God? Think about it, just think about it, but not too much. If you think too much, you might flip upside down. And by the way, the prophet, he prophesied a lot of things. As an example, the Muslims, they used to put their head before the Imam, he finished the prayer. So Muhammad, he come with a threat from Allah. He said to them, aren't you afraid? If you put your head up before the Imam, Allah will turn your head into a head of a donkey? Then, brother, if you don't believe that this prophecy is coming true, go and watch the Iranian Mullahs TV. Starting from Al Khomeini. Brother. So, if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head as a head of a donkey. Prove it. Prove it. I got to prove it, prove it. I got to prove it, prove it, prove it. Who want to prove it? I'm really, really convinced that Muhammad is a prophet. Think about it. Did I say think about it? It's haram in Islam to think. What's up? Sorry, guys, I take it back. Think about it. You are saying to a Muslim, think about it. Don't you know that it's haram? It's haram to think. Hmm. What do you have to tell about uh, uh, Imam Ali? <laughs> are you sure, Mahdi? Mahdi, do you want that? You are a Shia. Are you sure you want this, brother? Because if you op if I open the books of the Shias, you will not be happy. So I don't know. I mean, just I think I advise you to step aside. <clears throat> what I will say about them, they are liars, the same as the rest.
let me teach you what your Ali and what your Imams they say to you. Let me find you something. Hold on. Here we go. Ibradar, when Allah He told Noah brother to make a ship, uh, Allah made the lion uh, have a flu. Muhammad, then they want to explain how the lion get in the ship. So they made him a flu. But look, the story is not here. The story is not in the flu. Let us uh, let us fix this and make it in English. But before we make it in English, actually, yeah, let us make it in English right away. <laughs> Mahdi, it's your fault, not my fault. You are the one who made me go and, and read what the Shia do. All right. So Allah inspired Musa's to wipe the flying and he sneezed. And when he sneezed, brother, come from his nose two cats male and female <laughs> unbelievable and i was wondering where the where the cats coming from where the cats coming from and i could not find and then brother and the brother then now a brother he wiped the nose of the elephant and he sneezed that's true and then from his nose, two pigs they came out, male and female. <laughs> are you satisfied, the brother Al Mahdi? <laughs> you think you are better than the Sunni? Do you really think you are better than the Sunni? This is the books of the Shia. Shall we continue the stories, or you guys you have enough? <laughs> oh boy. Mean, 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 mean. Okay, they ask Abu Abdullah. Those are the family of the Prophet. They ask him, Abu Abdullah, how Allah created the fly? If, 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 if. Look how deep this guy. He know everything. The answer was. <laughs> Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> Allah, brother, created the fly to him. You create the majestic, like you are a king, and the fly stop in your nose. <laughs> Actually, I saw in the TV how how the fly in the nose of Obama. <laughs> Here we go. They are telling the truth, brother. Uh. <laughs> man, oh man. Oh boy. <laughs> brother. The Shia, they are telling the truth, brother. Otherwise, how you explain this disgusting thing, brother? <laughs> and I think there's one in George Bush, and there's one. <laughs> so this is the reason, brother, to create the the brother, the fly, brother. Okay. Now, how Allah created uh, uh, what? How He created the dogs? The dogs are created from the Bit of the shaitan. If, 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 if. Me. Hmm. Oh, what about Allah? He created uh, Adam and Eve like two chickens. <laughs> okay, brother. I was asked about what Allah created, how Allah created the dogs. He said, He created them from the spit of the devil. He said, how is that? Oh, messenger of Allah. He said to them, 
The bird have fading from the sky, and they have not seen the sight of the great in the dim. Come, let them. I mean, Google translation is making me dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, be honest. Don't you get fat because you are watching my my videos because you laugh a lot? Don't you? How many of you is laughing right now? Be honest. Go go watch some a uh, 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 you know comedy show. They are not funny. By the way, I never enjoy any of them because they are. I know what they will say next, so they are not funny for me. Do we have any Abdul want to say something? Allah created Adam like a chicken. Huh? Are those authentic? Sure, this is authentic. What are you talking about? A brother? What are you talking about, brother? All those books authentic. Al Kafi, Al Wafi, all the garbage, you name it. Hmm. <coughs> all right, forget about the Shia. We go back to the Sunni. Shia, Sunni is the same madness. The Shia, they say the Sunni books are stupid. The, the Sunni, they say the Shia, the, 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 the opposite like and the funny the the al khomeini he said the muslim sunni they have the biggest library uh, of uh, of the science of marahid which means the bathroom because too many hadith thousands is about from the west and down it's about sex penis ass etc but this is not really true i mean yes they have a huge library but the shia they have bigger library when it's come to the penis Do we have any Muslim want to call me? No, I cannot show water. I cannot show the watermelon story because I bought in a watermelon and I want to eat it. Thank you. The watermelon story is simple. The, the Sunni, they made a fatwa that it's okay to have sex with watermelon. <laughs> so the Shia, they were asking them, is it okay that the watermelon is a virgin or it's okay to have sex with watermelon which was going around <laughs> even watermelon you want to have sex with it i mean what's wrong with you everybody in the world eat watermelon except muslims you cannot trust a muslim to leave him with watermelon alone I will never do that. Trust me. Not my watermelon. <laughs> yeah, and the Shia, if the watermelon is a sweet, by the way, the Shia, I believe this is Shia watermelon. <laughs> if the watermelon is, is sore, it is not Shia, it's Sunni. <laughs> True story. Unbelievable. Man, oh man. <clears throat> Anyway, anyway, I think I think uh, uh, let me see if I have somebody in Skype. Maybe there's a Muslim. He he feel like he want to call me and convince me because I'm almost convinced, by the way, to convert to Islam. I mean, Islam makes sense and everything. Uh, it makes sense that you will have 72 women. They they have no panties, and they can see the marrow of their bones. I like marrows, and I like bones. And my dog too. I don't have one. <laughs> oh, oh. Bones. I will see the marrow of the bones. Why? Is that sexy? Everything in this religion is stupid. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. 
This is how your female lovely wife in the heaven of Allah will look like, brother. Look at this. We have to be honest. Uh, we have a Muslim here. I don't know. He's calling me a liar. <coughs> Call me and prove me liar, Mr. Salim. Guys, Mr. Salim. Oh, he's saying call me coward. Salim is call, saying call me coward. I will call you coward, no problem. Coward, coward, coward. <laughs> I mean, it's English, English is funny, by the way. I don't think he meant that, but this is what he said to me. Call me coward. Okay, coward. Now, here we go. I will call you. Let us see who is the coward. Hello, coward. The coward is you are the one who told me to call you a coward. What's wrong? <laughs> so, what do you want to say to us? Are you a kid or are you a man? I am a kid. What is the age of a kid to be a kid? Under 21. So, uh, your prophet he married Aisha at the age of six. He was marrying a uh, it, it was nine, it was not six. No, but lie. you just told me 21 under 21 is a kid. Yeah, but you lied. You said six, but it's Hold nine. On. No, no, I did not lie. Here we go. You want to show you that it was six? Yeah, show me. I know it's nine. Okay, here we go. But you admitted that anyone who marry under 21 is a marrying a kid. Yeah, but admit you lied. It's nine. It doesn't say six. Okay, read it for us. Here we go. It's in the front of you. I don't see anything. It's in the screen. It's in the screen. I know, but I don't see anything. It says it doesn't say anything. It says the prophet married her when she was six years old. Read it. <clears throat> yeah, but I've seen I've seen a different one where it says nine. And, okay, so you who is the one is lying now? You told me I'm lying. Show me the one that no, says no. he married. Oh no, show me the one that says he married her at the age of nine. Okay, give me a second. Hmm. Give me a second. Post it in the chat. Yeah, give me a second. Hmm. Let me go on the website. Do you know the hadith where, where it says that she was playing with her dolls? Yeah, I know the hadith she was playing with, your, with her yeah, dolls. Yeah, show me that one. It says nine. Give me a second. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. You know you, know you lied. So you want, you want to prove to me that your prophet is a good man. He married a child at the age of nine and pray with her dolls. This is what you are trying to That's prove to us? <laughs> That's not the point. Uh, no, no, this is the point. You are the one who said she is playing with her dolls. So she is a kid. What kind of a prophet at such an age? If Muhammad he married her at the age of six, she was she was fifty four. At the age of nine, he is fifty seven. What kind of a man he married a child? She is playing with her doll, and he claimed to be a prophet of God, and he's almost sixty. Wait, give me. This. I'm gonna prove you wrong. No the, problem. The no problem. No. Lied, no. No. You, you know you prove me wrong already. You are the hero, brother. What kind of a prophet he married a child? She is playing with her dolls. No, but back then nine was like eighteen. Now, ah, that... back then nine like eighteen. Uh huh. Just, Why they have a global? Was, used to be really mature back then. <laughs> <laughs> but she wasn't playing with the dolls. You told me that. I mean, she is like eighteen playing with her dolls. You just said that yourself. No. It... Is it you who said to me, Show me the hadith where Aisha playing with her doll? So here but we go. She is in the wife, she, she is in the wife, she is in the wife of the prophet playing with her doll. How you say she was mature, but she's playing with her dolls. That's not the point. You're trying to change the topic. This is the you point. This is the point. You say that she is mature, but you are the one who said she was playing with her dolls. So how she is mature, playing with the dolls. Explain to us. We are listening. If I send you the hadith, are you gonna put it up on screen? Sure, sure, no problem. I will put it for okay, you. Give me a sec. Yeah. Just give me a sec. I'm trying to find it. Because I have a hard copy. I don't have the website thing. Mm. Give me a sec. <coughs> no, bear with me. Yeah, found it. Okay.
Don't waste your time. Here we go. It's in the front of us. Even the chapter yes. name, playing with the doors. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? It says it says nine, doesn't it? Wait, it says nine. Give me a second, man. Oh, this is long. You know, it says nine. It never says six. I've never seen one hadith that says six. You're a liar. I just show it on the screen. Everybody saw it. Let me see. I'm checking now. Hmm. Scroll, scroll, scroll down. Hmm. This hadith does not speak about the age. The hadith speak about the age is this one. Here we go. And I know for sure there's one way he says uh, she was nine. No. He married her at the age of six. He had full intercourse with her at the age of nine, which means from yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, yeah. so from yeah. six to nine, so nine to, uh, six to nine, he was putting his private part between her legs. But at the age of nine, he have intercourse. Okay, and she was mature at the age of six or nine. Okay, fine. But you said she was six. That's my point. She was six. Here we go. Aisha says he married her at the age of six. It's one of you. Don't you know how to read English? The prophet married her when she was six years old. She is already officially his wife. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so now, what kind of a prophet he married six years old child? I thought I just explained to you. Oh. Um, back then, girls used to be more mature than. Well, they here are we today. go. She is mature to the point she is playing with the dolls. How mature is uh, that? Uh, I don't have an explanation for that to be honest with you. Mm, okay, so what okay, you know what forget about everything you call me names liar, etc I want to give you a chance to prove Islam to me to be a good religion or to be, to be uh, Like a true religion how you can do that anything anything you wish say go ahead How you how you can convince those people we have like 800 900 people watching uh, uh, Actually, we have 1022 right now uh, How how you can convince us Islam is uh, is it true? Well, first of all, um, I will start off by you know pointing the um, scientific miracles in the Quran. That's wonderful. Which one? Uh, one of them being, the, well, how was how how was a, a literate person um, la, um, able to write such a book? Like what? Like the Quran. Like well, the Quran is full of mistakes. Give me, give me, give me the scientific yeah, miracle in the Quran. The guy was illiterate, so um, my friend. He, first of all, he did not write any book. Secondly. It's you Muslims who write it after him. Secondly, you said the Quran have scientific miracles. Show me. Yeah, one one of them um, is the uh, that I can think of from the top of my head um, mm. is um, the fingerprints. The fingerprints oh, you know. in the Quran. Yes, that's amazing, my friend. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I will open the website where it's talking about those things and I will go to fingerprint. Here we go. This is the website, the Muslim website. No, no, no. Go, go, go to the Quran. Don't go to we the website. We will go to the Quran. We'll go to the Quran. We will see which verse is speaking about the fingerprint so we can laugh together. Here we go. Guys, is it this is the one that says the maker of fingerprint? Here we go. This is the fingerprint. Give, give me the verse of your choice. If you don't agree with them, maybe you have a different verse. Here they have 75. No, I don't know. I don't know which verse it talks okay. about this stuff. Okay. That's what I've heard. Where, where in the verse it says we are going to re, re uh, con, uh, construct his finger, uh, finger. It says fingertips. What fingertips have to be to do with fingerprints? Fingertips is the bones, the end of the. Uh, you know, it's chapter. Uh, um, it's chapter 74, uh, verse 4. 75, verse 4. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. My bad. Yeah. What, where is the fingerprint in the verse? Or what it says here that Allah, He. Do the man think that he cannot collect his bones? Let us go. Let us go there to the Quran and love together and see how Muslims they fabricate a story. Here we go. This is the verse. Everybody will laugh in a second. This is have nothing to do with fingerprint. Muslims are lying. <clears throat> Does the man disbelieve that he we cannot uh, 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 shall not assemb uh, assemble his bones? So the verse speaker about what his bones? Yes, we are able to put together perfect order the tips of his fingers. Where is the fingerprint? Yeah, but look, here's the question. The question is how how can an illiterate man um, know that fingertips have something unique? What's uh, so where is something unique? It says we are going to put even because those are the smallest in the body. And they are because they are small. It's hard to put them together. So he is saying, "Don't the man knows that we can? You, he think you cannot assemble his bones together in the judgment day? 
No, we can even his fingertips where you Muslim lies and they make it about Fingerprint, what is the fingerprint? I just told you my um, the question is not <clears throat> or, You are okay, the I, one I, remember we... you are the one who lied to me says that this verse about fingerprint So you have to admit that your Muslims are a bunch of liars lying fabricating miracles This is not a miracle and have nothing to do with fingerprints. Where is the fingerprints? Well, the miracle is the fact that how can this illiterate person? Um, how you know, how can he how can he have known about the that finger tips have something what unique? fingertips everybody knows that fingertips fingertips in english is, exist but you know people they speak about fingertips since centuries and a thousand of years what are you talking about a human being he die he have bones and every part have a have a name and fingertips is fingertips so you are telling me how he know fingertips that's amazing i know about the pinky does that mean i'm prophet i'm god come on okay give me the from miracle this one uh, we uh, we got that busted I will okay, give, I'll give you that one. Okay, I'll give uh, you that one. <clears throat> Which one you want? No, I said, I said you're right about this one. I'll give you this one. Mm, which one? Okay, what about the speed of light miracle that a lot of Muslims um speed of light? Let us go to the speed of lights. You know, uh, but uh, but I, I want you to be sure this is the one you want because you will be sorry very fast. Yeah, uh, <laughs> 32. I think it's verse 30, uh, chapter 32, verse 5. Okay, let us go to speed of light miracle. <laughs> And people will love speed of light here we go speed of light it says chapter 32 verse number five is that the verse you want yes okay what does this have to do with the speed of light this is speaking about the angels isn't it yep okay is the angels are they are moving in the speed of light mm. let me read it mm. Give me a second. No, no, sh show it to me from why are you showing me this website? I don't want to see the website. This is the verse. This is the Muslim translation who based their their um, uh, false fiction on it. This is where you get your information you yourself. Where do you get your information from here? No, I've just heard it from people. Ah, okay. Okay, chapter 32, verse number five. Open it and read it for us. <clears throat> It's a lie. Actually, this lie enough for us to prove Islam to be a big fat lie. Because if the angels are moving in the speed of light, that's mean Allah He live inside the galaxy, our galaxy, and there's many galaxies. This is not the end of the world. Because one thousand years of a speed of light will not even take you out of our galaxy. This is how it's either, are. it's either you a liar or the whole bunch of liars. Well, here we go. It's in the front of you. Huh? This is about the angels going down to Allah and going up to Allah. Each trip will take 1,000 years of our counting. Where is the speed of light? They are lying. They fabricate issues. Secondly, here we have a problem. And thank you for mentioning this. If the angel Jibreel, he came to Muhammad to deliver a message 1400 years ago mm. Based on this verse in order to Jibreel to come back second time he have to go back to Allah 1000 year and Then come back to Muhammad 1000 year. That's 2000 years. So Jibreel, wait, how you, how, wait, wait, how did you come up with a thousand years? Because it says here that the angels they go to Allah in a day To Allah equal to 1000 year of our time. So in order to go to Allah They have to travel for 1000 year of our time and to come back another thousand years. So in order for the angels to deliver the second verse to Muhammad, they have to come after 2,000 years from the first verse. And this is a proof Muhammad to be a false prophet. I think I think that's a mistake or something. Because what, what do you mean mistake? Yeah, you are the one who chose the verse for me. <clears throat> yes, but I've never read the, um, I've never read the verse. The verse in the front of you, read it now. Don't tell me you never read it. He arranges every affair from the heavens to the earth. Then his affair will go up to him in one day. Mm. The space of is a thousand years of your reckoning, a reckoning of our present mm. worst time. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so this is a mistake, isn't it? This is not a miracle. This is a stupid mistake. Because how Muhammad received the second verse after a few weeks? If each time, 
the angel he need to go to Allah it take him 1,000 years to go 1,000 years to come back mm. Mm. so they lie to you don't they I don't have an explanation for this to be honest okay this is the second one you don't have explanation to it but no, the first one I told you I told you it was nine it was not six no you talk about the speed of flight I'm saying and, oh, yeah, yeah, and, and the right. first one she was one. six I showed you the proof it was six years old so now this is the second one regarding the miracles they are stupid give me the third stupid one here we go it's your choice I told you about the <coughs> Ill Ill man. choose for me something difficult something very hard something amazing Look, I hear you most of the, all of the times you say sometimes you know this uh, Muhammad was illiterate, and sometimes you say no, he was not illiterate. So according to Muslims, he is illiterate. According to me, he's not. But anyway, as long as you Muslims believe he's illiterate, who okay. care? At the, at the either way, he's a stupid. That will not change anything. Here we go. Well, how do you the fact that he was able to produce such a thing? Was able to do what? Um, book. What book? He did not. This what is a book. This is a joke. What? This is a book. <coughs> what is the book? Do you mean what is the book? What is the book? Muhammad did not make a book. Muhammad he was saying things, and then the Muslim collect after after he died. They don't have a book. What is the book of Muhammad? They don't have it. Even the Quran what says. The... Even the Quran says, "Inna alayna jamuhu wa Quranahu." It is on us to collect it and to recite it. And Allah did not collect it. It was Uthman uh, ibn Affan. So Muhammad did not leave a book for you. This is a false well, a fiction story. Here we go. Chapter 42. Huh? Okay, so who okay, look, I've heard something, but I don't know if it's true. <clears throat> uh, is it true that um those um Uthman who gathered the Qurans and he burned them or something like that? Yeah. Is that true or is just well this is what the Muslim says? I, I wasn't there. But they say that Uthman, he burned the Quran. Why? Because there was many Quran. There are different stories. Okay, but did Abu Bakr not have his own Quran? Like, did, did everybody you know. supposed he have his own? Even uh, they say Fatima, she have Hafsa, she have, etc. However, Uthman, he burned more uh, all the Quran. That's proof that that Quran was not the same book for each. Otherwise, why you want to burn it? But this is let us not to change the topic. Give me something. No, you because know? look, look. Here's how I think about it. Yeah, <coughs> you have you can apply two tests. In, like in Christianity, you apply two tests. Did Jesus um, raised from the dead? Was he crucified? And all these sort of historical things. Um, the Quran to you know to Islam, I think is the same. Is either is the Quran authentic or uh, was Muhammad a prophet? So as you know, if you if you prove one of them false, then you know everything you know false. So that's why I base uh, my argument on, on okay, no on problem. But I, so I'm giving you a chance to prove to me Islam is right. I ask you, give me something to prove to me that Islam is right. You give me two things until now we get them busted. What do you want more? Give me something. All, all, how, all. How can, you, how can you prove to me that Quran was corrupted or it's not the same as? No, I cannot say. I cannot say the Quran is corrupted because you cannot corrupt the corrupt. I mean, what's the point of corrupting the corrupt? Cor it's a corrupt. Muhammad is corrupt. His God does not exist. So you want you want me to prove that the corrupt is corrupt? It doesn't make sense. Secondly, this is very easy. If about changing, even the Muslims agree that the first chapter in the Quran was given to Muhammad is the one we are reading about, where Angel he came to him and he squeezed him three times. But this this chapter now is chapter number ninety six. If Allah sent it to you in that order, who are you to change it? Nobody have the right to change it. What about Aisha? She said that the goat ate the Quran. There's a chapter about breastfeeding for adult where uh, a goat ate them and this goat until now is missing read the verse uh, hadith for us <laughs> wait it's coming Um, this is were abrogated in yeah, but those verses he says that they were um, abrogated. Were abrogated? Okay. Do you have the verse? Do you have the verse? No, they, Recite. No, they were abrogated in um, re, um, recitation. No problem. Well, no. What what recitation? It says okay. Hold on. The verses. The verses were abrogated in recitation. Okay, but that means you know the recitation. What what is the recitation? Nobody know them. And the goat ate them. Where is the verse? 
And who is the one who says the verse is abrogated by recitation? And then he says, look what I mean. It says, it says that it says these verses were abrogated by uh, Okay, hold on. Other hadiths, the other hadith says establish the number of four by five. Okay, where is the where is where is the where is the verse of uh, five? There's no ten, there's no five. And how it's abrogated by uh, uh recitation, but not by ruling. How stupid is that? If the ruling is staying, why you abrogate the recitation for the benefit of who? Well, well, what this means is basically that um, imagine, right imagine, hold on, hold on, imagine, imagine we have a law, we have a law, it says everybody yeah. have to stop in, in red traffic light, and then we say this law is demolished, but you have to practice what the point, there's no point, so as long as it's a law, that's mean it should stay so when the Muslim says abrogated by recitation, it's a big fat lie because they cannot fight in the Quran so mm -hmm. how the ruling stay, what the point, if Allah wants us to practice that, and by the way do you Muslims practice as breastfeeding for adult? Uh, wait, do you mean men? Yes, this is about breastfeeding for adult. Do you see it? It says adult. Oh, no, what now? Not that I'm aware of. They might do it in other parts of the world. What it says, a breastfeeding countries like I don't know, they might do in countries like Pakistan or something. I'm not sure. This is uh, Pakistan, this is this is uh, uh, Saudi Arabia. This is the prophet. So, this is Allah, He sent you. To your wife that she have to give her breast to a stranger and he suck at ten times. What do you think about this God? But I think this is for Shia because this is Sunni, my friend. This is Sunni. This is Sunni Hadith. This is Sunnah Ibn Majah. What's Shia? What's uh, you know? We can show it from the Sahih Bukhari. We can show it from Sahih Muslim. This is Sunni. Is this a Sahih Hadith? Yes. Um. So what do you think about God? He says to your wife, with my respect to her, to give her breast to a stranger. Yeah, that's a bit that's a bit weird. Weird? That's weird or stupid. Be honest. Um, like I said, I'm not sure they might do it in other countries. I'm my friend, I'm who cares which country? I'm talking about Muhammad now, not about a country. We're not talking about country. We are talking about Allah. He sent verses that a woman she can she have to give her boobs to a strange man and he have to suck it ten times. To the point, even Aisha, she was ordering her niece to suckle anyone when I enter up our, uh, uh, to, to, to see her. What do you say? Um, I, I don't know what to say, to be honest. Well, this God is a false God. There's no way. There's no way a God, he will say that. Look at this. You hear related. From Malik, from 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 from, etc. Yeah, I'm sure that okay. there are interpretations okay, as well. Okay, that Aisha, uh, uh, he could not meet uh, Aisha because he admitted to uh, to her sister uh, and daughter of um, her brother had nurse. So uh, in order to see Aisha, you have to nurse her sister. Her sister, she have to take her her breast from her bra, boing. And then you start sucking, and you have to suck at ten different time in ten different day, and each time you suck until you cannot continue no more. What kind of God this God is? What did what did Zakir Naik say about this verse? What Zakir Naik says about this verse? Yeah, what did he say? Take care. <laughs> <laughs> Zach and I, what Zach and I says about this. <laughs> Zach and I, brother, he opened a drive through breastfeeding, brother, and he is running right now. <laughs> brother and sister, the Prophet was very open minded, and because he's open minded, he allowed Muslim women. Again, what the Wutan they think? They think that women in Islam think about herself. And because he that, he's oppressed. In fact, he's not oppressed. To the point, a Muslim woman is free to give her boobs. Anyone can think her boobs. What the heck is that? What Zakir Naik? We talk about your prophet. You tell me what Zakir Naik said. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm uh, I'm thinking to emigrate to the moon, man. Sometimes I think I feel like I'm not from this earth. Shia don't do breastfeeding for adults. Shia they rent their daughters around. 
Give me a break. Yes. Why did you hang up? Hello? Yeah, why did you hang up? What Zakir Naik have to do with this now? No, I'm just asking if you know his position What's on Zakir this. What's Zakir Naik? I mean, here we go. Give me your position on that. This is a, a you know, Zakir for adult. What you will do? Yeah, I told you I find it weird, but I, I, I just asked you if you know what Zakir Naik's Zakir position Naik, on this. I never heard him speaking about that. But what he was saying, this is a prophet saying, he have to agree. Hmm. I mean, that's pretty black and white, to be honest with you. Hmm. So what do you think about what this cult? About Still, you want to believe in Islam? Well, I need I need more evidence. You are, know, you are the one, one who was giving me evidence a second ago. You, all your evidence failed to prove Islam to you. Everything you gave me until now, it was bad, not good. <clears throat> Fabrication. Hmm. Uh, I'll try and think and up why, of more things. And why an adult like you, you want to see what Zakir Naik says about that? I mean, who is Zakir Naik? Zakir Naik is not a scholar. He's an idiot. He's stupid. Yeah, no, no I've read some um, articles about him recently. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'll think I'll think about it um, and I'll, I'll call you back. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. No Thank problem. You. No problem. Okay. So this guy, he called me in the beginning. He called me liar. <laughs> okay. Oh, sure what we can say. Uh, Faris, he was calling me. Hold on. Let's see what Faris want to say. <coughs> Hello. Yes, Faris, how are you? Doing great. What about you? You still you hate me, Faris? Yeah, of course. Even how, much how much? More. How much you hate me, Faris? Be honest. Like I told you, as much I hate my life. But why you hate your life? I, I, okay, I got it. Because you are a Muslim, you hate your life. Is that why? Right? It depends. You see, it's my life. Yeah. But, you, but I will no, leave no, it but aside. Hate, but you, just one you question. You hate your life because you are a Muslim, it, isn't it? No, no, it's not. So a what the reason you hate it? Your mother-in-law she's beating you. <laughs> Do you have four wives? Be honest. Yeah. Uh, uh, be honest. No, no, still. How many wives you have? Sheesh. Huh? How many? How many wives I have? Yeah. No, no, I have. I don't have any wife really. You are, she kicked you out. No, no, still, still. still I, okay, you, I got it. I got it. You know, you don't wanna, you wanna, you don't wanna get internet. You are using the internet of the neighbor, and your wife. She said to you, either you get at the internet like everybody, or I will leave you. And she no, left you. Okay, right. okay stay sheep. Maybe cheap. the whole. Okay, so now, uh, uh, Faris, why are you calling me? What do you wanna say to us? Yeah, thank you so much. Really, just can you give me just three messages, okay? Mm. Okay. First of all, did that caller left Islam? I didn't hear the last one. Almost, almost. He's uh, he would oh. he would think about it. Okay, no problem. Can you just give me also like message me about his Skype also, if possible? Why you want to talk? You, you want to talk to him so he will not leave Islam? No, no. If, if he left, see, my message will become will be to the Muslim. Just don't worry. Can you just do it or not? Simple, yes or no? Uh, I, Simple. I, I am, I am not uh, authorized by anyone to share anything. People, no. I, no. I don't give no. your Skype to other people too, no. especially the no. girls, because no. you know you are very handsome. And if I give your Skype to Thank the girls, they will go crazy. See, yeah, yeah. And you maybe you have the power. Of, and maybe you have the power of forty men, like, like the prophet. By the way, <laughs> how, how come? The, yes, why Allah he Wait, made the prophet? Hold on. Why Allah he made my the prophet have the power have of forty message. men? Why Allah he made the prophet have the power of forty men in bed? Again, again. Why Allah he made the prophet have a power of forty men in bed? Can you repeat? Can you do it in Arabic, please? What's, what's wrong with you in Arabic? Like, and, I didn't and, get and, the point. She knows it. Why? Why Allah? Why Allah gave Muhammad the power of forty men in boom boom sex? Why? Why he have a power of forty men? And who is the one who measured the forty men? Like what they did? They make like a race. They brought a lot of men and they are having sex together. And then Muhammad is the one, the winner. How Muhammad he was measuring the, his power of forty men? Okay, I got your point about that. He's a prophet, like, like I told you. Also, he was fasting, like no one can ever do. Like his company was trying to compete with him about the fasting, but they couldn't. He said, like, I'm not like any man of you. Nobody saw so him about, fasting. I mean, he go home. He eat. 
You say I already give you the answer about this one. I don't have that much deep about okay, this let, one. And okay, you let, ask okay. like I, you know, I, I have, yes, I, I, have, have a, I have a personal question what about me. I have a personal like question. Hold on, Faris. I have a personal. I have a question. I need your help. I need, a, I need your help. It's not about your private. It's not about about me. Sometime I imagine myself uh -huh. having sex, but in fact I did not. What do you think about that? You? Yeah. Sometime I imagine I'm having sex, but in fact I mm -hmm. did not. It was the pillow. So what do you think about that? Maybe you have. Uh, huh? Who knows? Really, you ask about sex. Maybe you need that or no, something. No. What do you think? Like, do you think I'm sick or something? You sick? I know you're going to refer to some kind of hadith because at ah, that time. Ah, this is why you're afraid to give me the answer. No, I know you will refer for. No, uh, you know, yeah, no, this is a Christian prince. He will get me busted. I'm answer, asking you. So if no, somebody, kind of if somebody imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not, time. and he was See, lying. Okay. Once you finish, please tell me. Well, is he very polite? Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm very polite too, brother. I'm very polite. Uh, okay. It says, too. brother, it says that the prophet he imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. So what is this, what is the situation uh, did, of your prophet? What he was suffering from? Did you finish? Yes, I finished. Okay, thank you, thank you. Finish, finish. لا تتكلم العربية ولا الإنجليزية لكن ما يخالف ما عندي مشكلة. Okay, you see, Christians, uh, just a message, quick, quick, quick message to the Christians. Okay, Christians back, see, back, 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 I want the answer. Again, I want the answer. Again, again, again. Why you're a prophet? You, you how how that, come you're yeah, a prophet? Is, Even his okay. sex is not real. I got, got to, even his sex is fake. There's no witness. Even his sex have no witness. Okay. He saw Jabril, there's no witness. Okay. He went to Allah, there's no, no witness. No, no. He so made miracles, there's no witness. Yeah. Even his sex, there's nobody there. I mean, what's wrong with this guy? Here we go. He imagined himself having sex, but the fact it was not the, the wife, it was the goat, maybe. So what we can how we can how we can believe Muhammad to be a prophet if this guy he imagined things happening, but they did not happen. I'm listening. Go ahead. Thank you so much, but don't interrupt. Just simple. You see, at that time he was being under the magic. You see, Mashukan must hold on. Are you serious? The prophet he was under the magic. Yes. What, what does that mean? Why not? Does that mean he was bewitched? Being wished? Bewitched, bewitched. bewitched. You, you see, bewitched. The thing, my answer about this one, you see, hmm. he is like any human. He was a human like any other human. I'm so glad you he see, was a human. He I thought he's a legator, man. I'm so glad that you gave me such an answer. See, I'm really he, amazed he does, with that. Okay, I'm asking you. He was, you he was bewitched. Is that oh, true? Question, he, question, question, question. He was, question, right? he was bewitched. Is it true? <laughs> Is it true he was bewitched? You see, he was under the black, black, black. Okay, so he I was bewitched. The, is, so, okay, the hate in front of us, it says actually, once the prophet was bewitched. So, you are a person who follow a bewitched prophet. How you can do that? Once you, once you finish, tell me. I finish. I'm asking you see, you I'm here. how you follow a bewitched you, prophet. You. you see, you, you will do it like yesterday. You will question after question because if I ask you a question, you will not even maybe will not answer. You answer me, ask question, me the question. question, question Here we go. We are having conversation. Not, Faris. Faris, I will tell your mother in law. I will tell you your mother. Me. I will tell your mother Allah about about the yogurt you ate yesterday without you permission. Christians? Do you see that? So are you going you to answer me or not? That's why I'm asking. And I will give an answer, but don't interrupt. Okay, here we go. I'm waiting. I'm going to take a nap. Thank you so much. You see, I had told you. Hmm. He is like any other human. You see, don't interrupt, please. Mm. He is like any other humans. He received like, uh, you see, he was like received like any other human, being like suffering on everything. At that time, someone was someone is called like uh, Hoya ibn Asim. Someone I, I forgot his name really. Mm. You see, he talks one of the Atakat Sharat and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And then he took care uh, of his ass. And he was. You see, I told you to Christian praise. If you insult, I will insult back. I'm not insult. You said he took hair from him. Where did the hair come from? Okay, where he come? You are the one who said he took. Okay, you said you said he took hair from him. The hair from where he took it? How he can take hair from his body? How a man? How a man he can take hair from your body? Is he sleeping with the prophet? How the man? How this Jewish man? He was able to take hair from the body of Muhammad. Tell us. Go ahead. But once you finish, you see. Do you see Christians? He have. Uh, this guy have you are saying to me baby. that the if prophet took, was bewitched by taking some of his hair. Uh, uh, okay, uh, how he got his hair? What? Do you have see, a? This do is, they have a barber shop at that time? I swear to God, even Jack and I will not win. I will. I swear. 
Even Dr. Zakir Naik, if he debates you on this one, he will not win. Nobody can Just win anything. That That's all. Nobody can win. No one you will know beat that. you. Nobody can win. No you know one, that. I'm telling you. Yeah, of, of course. Okay, someone. okay. So you and said you said that a man he controlled him by the hair. How he did that? You see, I you, you misunderstand everything. You mm -hmm. see, like any hair, you see, it's possible like it's been fall down. It's possible like in anywhere because he was contacting with the Jew, everything, no problem. You see, I don't okay, and this one is was like under the black magic. So he just like imagined something that he's doing and but he didn't. So what's the problem? Like he is like any other human. He was under the black magic. So okay. Do you imagine? What, what, okay. What's hold. Okay. Point? So was okay. No. 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 You, you wait, said. Wait, hold wait, on. Wait, hold on. You wait, said he wait, is wait, like wait, any no, no, no. other wait, human. Wait, wait. You other human. You want to it? Is that normal to be bewitched? Wanna... Is that normal to be bewitched? You said like he is every human. I never been bewitched. You been yeah. bewitched before? Either I'm sure about did, that. This is also. Did anyone? Did sure anyone? Did anyone bewitched you before? No. Me. Okay. Yeah. Me no no no. Still. Okay. Any one of your family was bewitched. Any one of your family was bewitched before? No, Alhamdulillah. So you are saying that Muhammad is not the same as everybody. You are you are saying the opposite now. You said he is the same as every human, but not every human. He was bewitched. Only the Prophet. You miss misunderstood everything. No, I did not. Okay. Name, like name for me. Okay, okay. Name for me. One person was bewitched from everybody around Muhammad, Abu Bakr, Omar, Aisha. Only Muhammad was bewitched. Why Muhammad only? Interruption. Okay, don't interrupt. You see, I've, like I told you, if someone has been beaten, does that mean I have to be beaten? My point is, he is a human. He will receive like any like pain, suffer something like this and that. Any any like damage. Like mm. any human, it's mm. possible. You see, you was an Iraqi, you know, perhaps you are, you are an Iraqi. I know I am an Iraqi. You know okay. what? I'm Iraqi. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Iraqi, my okay. friend, Iraqi. Well, the important thing is, whether you're Iraqi or not, from 2014 to 2018, when the government was created, it was created by the Iraqis. يا فرحان لما توك ما درت من وين تشجع له يمل خناقة يقول أنت أنت عربي لا تحكي العربية يقول أنت اسكت 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 I will cut my hand I will cut my my twenty foot beard if you are not a Pakistani who live in Bahrain and they give you citizenship you don't speak Arabic you don't speak Arabic this is not Arabic your Arabic is funny. Go ahead. Okay, okay. No problem. Now answer, answer. Challenge. Answer, answer, answer. Okay, okay. Now answer. Okay. You I'm said you no said Muhammad was challenge. bewitched like Will everybody. Name for me Will anyone in the time of Muhammad was bewitched beside Muhammad. How come only okay. Muhammad was the only uh, by the way, bewitched is a magic. Where did the magic came from? From Allah or from the devil? You see, uh, I will first, first, I will go one, one point. Wait, one point, one point. You see, mm. you are the guy you saying, uh, you saying that I'm not Arab, no problem. Mm. One challenge, one challenge, mm. only one challenge, and you accept it. Mm. Just let you and me speak fluent classical Arabic just for four minutes. Mm. Okay, four minutes. You are the guy. I have heard a lot of rumors that Christian prince that is trying to like translate the Arabic Quran. I was really, I was shocked. How come a Christian prince mm. translate the classical? Quran hmm. and he don't know the classical thing. Okay, I wanna, I wanna, Reef, okay, right? okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to go with you. I, I accept that challenge. Read for us. Thank you. Sir. Read for us. No, it's not read. Let's, the, let's go. This is the classic. Go ahead. Uh, you want the classical? You see. Read it. Christians. Read, us. read it. Read Christians. It. Read it. Christian, hear this properly. I will, I will read it. No problem. Christians, hear this properly. This guy is claiming that he knows the classical Arabic. One hundred percent, not one hundred, one thousand percent sure. The guy don't know the Arabic words. He is a, he is an Arab. I'm not denying that. From Iraq, I'm not denying that. You see, <laughs> this is how well, can there are different accents. There is Iraqi accent, Saudi accent, Bahraini accent. Qatarian accent, Kuwaitian accent. There are accents, but the classical Arabic, you don't know. Speak to us in classical Arabic. Class Let us laugh. Yeah, let's laugh. وأخبث وأهبل من دجاجة وأنا سوف أجعلك طبخي ومنها سوف أصنع لبخي وسوف يضحك عليك الناس ويقول عليك أنك 
ابن فرناس طرف الهواء ووقع كنس ناس لكنك أحلس وحلاس ولا تفهم من الطبيس طباس وأنت واقع بدون لباس أنسر الآن الآن يا إخوة النصارى العام You see, uh, just one question, uh, one minute, uh, please. I, I said to you, I said to you, Saja, I said to you, poetry, yeah, we'll answer me. I just made a poetry just for you about your underwear, about your stupidity, you about I will kick you like a chicken in the classical Arabic. Now answer me. I just made it up. Answer me. Go ahead. I want to see how good you are. Go ahead. laughing at you, really. Did you I make a poetry for you and make really? fun of, him, for, of you and everybody is laughing at you? I want you to Again, answer me. Don't change the topic. You are the one who challenged me. Answer me back. You, you are. This is a point. <laughs> so what yeah. happened? You just yeah. challenged me a second ago. So you see, I, I can, I can talk to you until tomorrow. But just by, just by making point, point, I answer you by point. I made it about you. I'm a point man, you idiot. I am a point man, you idiot. I can make, I can make you the joke of the century. So don't challenge me. Now, I answered you. I want you to answer me. What I said translated the people. What I said. Translate, translate. No, it's not translate. You see, once you're done, please give me the time. That's what I'm asking. Okay, go. <laughs> Thank you so much. You see, I have made the points. You see, I first of all, I did feel apologize for my Christian English that who not uh, and like uh, able to understand the, uh, the Arabic. I did feel apologize. Uh, uh, go. On. I'm waiting for you. You said to me, uh -huh. you answer me in Arabic. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You see, I have to make like some statements first for those really because they do not understand the classical Arabic. I have to explain something for them because you are trying to deceive, deceive in what, in what, in one way or in another. Really, you see, Christians, Christian, what he did, he took one of a poem. You see, I asked him one to one on one, let him discuss with me about the religious things. Not some <laughs> kind of poem. He really just made took out one poem. Just shut up, you idiot! I just made a poetry. I created now. I created the poet about him, this idiot. In an Arabic, he cannot ever, not even his God can make like it. And he is the one who opened the challenge. And now, okay, answer me. He cannot answer me. Make a point like the one I made for you about me. He cannot. You're talking about my Arabic, you idiot. Your God, Allah, cannot speak like me. Bring your Allah to me, I will spank him. Unbelievable. How many, how many people there, they speak Arabic? <laughs> Ask those who speak Arabic in the text, they are dying laughing about what I said to you, and I just made it up. <laughs> you said you want to send the Quran, and I threatened you to talk to me in the classical Arabic. Okay, I, okay, I agree. Okay, go ahead. And then I made a point for you, and I got you busted. And the point, I just made it like for fun. You were able to answer me? No. Uh, uh, Christian, I want to make a statement first. What, 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 Unbelievable, man. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> anyway. Gallah, gallah. Ya mashallah. Tala'at riha. Riha ftisa. Ftisa matat. Tala'at riha. Tala'at nazlet. Ismha faris. Faris, faris. اطلع فارس ركب الفارس طلعت عنزة عنزة كبيرة Your prophet he don't even understand if it is if it's a goat or it is a horse he imagined things even your prophet when he went to the seven heaven he said he took an animal between the between the mule and the horse me <clears throat> who is next so uh, uh, the, okay so let us summarize this according to Faris, he agree that his prophet was a bewitched 
he's a prophet huh he was bewitched hmm any Abdul Hmm. <clears throat> Anyone? The Quran is the most stupid book in every mean, in every essence. The language is stupid. Uh, you know, actually, even the first word in the Quran is wrong. If you go in the Quran, the first chapter, it says Bism. In Arabic, there is no Bism. There's no Bism. It is Bism. Since when there is something is called Bism? Look, they corrupt the Arabic just to make it easier to read because Allah he did not make them easy for them. So the Muslim, they change the word from Bism to Bism, there's Aleph here. The first word in the Quran is a grammatically wrong, pronouncing wrong, spelling is wrong. Additional to that, all the Quran is wrong. How Allah He say in the name of Allah? This is a man making a prayer. This is cannot be Allah if He is God and He is existing in that. How Allah he repeat the same thing he said in the top, he repeated again. Look at this. He just said, Alhamdulillahi Rabbul Alameen. Right? He just said, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. He just said that. Why are you repeating that again? What the point? This is a statement of somebody he have nothing to say when you repeat the same sentence after two not even a, a line that's mean you are just trying to fill up space you said ar rahman ar rahim why you say ar rahman ar rahim again and then he says something more stupid you alone we worship how allah he say you alone we worship if the muslim they will say this is a prayer was given to muhammad show me where it says that this is a prayer was given to muhammad in the Quran, where Allah He says to Muhammad, "Do this," He said to him, "Say qul." There is no qul. Qul, which means say. As you see, there is nothing. And this is why in the Quran of Ibn Mas'ud, Al-Fatiha does not exist. Ibn Mas'ud refused to write it down because simply it is not from the Quran. This is a prayer Muhammad He used to say. And he was trying to copy the prayer of the Christians where they asked Jesus how to pray. He said, say like this, our father out of heaven. Any Abdul? Anyone? And look at them. We show them that the Quran is full of stupid uh, teaching, scientifically wrong, logically wrong, historical wrong, grammatical, grammatical is wrong, everything is wrong. And yet he says to me, I challenge you to speak in Arabic, but he himself is an Ar not an Arab, I can tell. In Bahrain, they bring a lot of people from Pakistan and they give them citizenship because they are trying to make a balance between the Shia and the Sunni. The majority of Bahrain are, Sunni, are, are Shia. The king of Bahrain, he always bring every few months a few thousands of Sunni from, from Pakistan. All his army is Pakistani, the police is Pakistani, go to Bahrain and see. 
they teach them how to speak Arabic and they have their children born in, in, in Bahrain so they speak Arabic now but you can tell from his Arabic is not a good Arabic then your prophet himself don't speak Arabic the funny that the Quran says that this is pure Arabic but the first verse of Muhammad he received full of words have nothing to do with Arabic this is how stupid city this book is if you go to chapter number 96 look at this and I can show you from Islamic reference they agree that those words are not Arabic khalaq alaq qalam uh, Zabania. I mean, Allah, He taught the man by the pen. How stupid is that? It is Allah who taught the man by the pen. Allah created the man from blood. So, from the first two verses Muhammad He mentioned, it's a stupid. We are not created from the blood. And this is a congealed dead blood. This is your Quran. This is God saying that we are created from congealed dead blood. Only donkeys will say that. And then he says to him, read. Well, how he says to him, read, and Muhammad do not know how to read. This is stupid again. And then he says to him, read. It is he who taught by the pen, but he did not taught him by the pen. And then look, the Muslims, they, they, they put between two brackets, the uh, the first uh, prophet who was written prophet Idris where do you get this from <laughs> and by the way Enoch became Idris I mean look at the miracle Idris is Enoch who is Idris we don't know okay who is Enoch Muslims you do not know if we ask the Muslims now okay where do you get this Enoch is Idris and who is Idris where he used to live what what language he speak Crazy. Any Mohammedan? Who is a smart Muslim? I hope I'm not offending you, Faris, by saying a smart Muslim. That is not including you. You see, each time they see somebody is going to leave Islam or leaving Islam or he left Islam in my in my live podcast, they go crazy. Can you give me? Can you give me his Skype? Okay, if I give you his Skype, what 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 would you what would you do? Here we go. You call me, and the guy who was listening, obviously, you are stupid. Like, did you do 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 better than the the one called me before before you? Each time you talk to me, you you you, you do the poo poo. So so what what, what what the point? Give me give give me give me give me his, 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 his Skype. So what, what what you will do to him? You will say, oh, oh, I want to show you the, the miracle of the finger brand. May Allah print you. <laughs> That's the best you can do. Here we go. Everybody heard you. You call me to refute me. You got busted. You try to change the topic. You are following a prophet. Who is a bewitched prophet officially certified bewitched prophet how many people here they follow a bewitched prophet so what does that mean Muhammad he used to put a flower in his hair when he walk in the street he say I'm from Hawaii he was bewitched prophet what does that mean Somebody tell me what does that mean that the prophet was bewitched what he used to do hmm? You can imagine when the prophet became uh, Bewitched became he was always bewitched <laughs> Unbelievable Oh, 
I guess the prophet he used to like after he got bewitched. He was he used to practice some stuff, which is weird. Huh? What the prophet was doing after he became bewitched? You tell me. Be which this means he's out of control. He was putting some sheet around his waist and doing belly dancing. What does that mean? How you Muslims notice that the prophet was bewitched? What exactly he was doing? Hmm? What he was doing? He, he was dancing samba. You have no answer. A person who follow, imagine even their book says he was bewitched. I mean, how you follow a, a, a prophet in your book, not in the book of the Christians, the Jews, the ones who don't like Muhammad. No, 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 this is your book. Saying the prophet was bewitched. What, he was dancing in the street and he was singing, singing I'm sexy and then you know what? What exactly <clears throat> was happening? Hello? Uh, well, I'm just trying to understand what happened exactly. How you Muslim, you notice that your prophet was bewitched. Did you take him to doctor? Did they do X-ray? Forget about X-ray. What about Y-ray? Uh, by the way, you cannot do X-ray to Muhammad because he's bulletproof. Allah protect him. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's so beautiful. Obviously, Muhammad, he was not bewitched. He is crazy. This is why he say crazy stuff. The, the message in the front of us that an, a, a man he came to him, he squeezed him at three times, is a crazy message. There is no way an angel he would do that. And what the point of squeezing him three times? If nothing will happen, Muhammad before the squeezing and Muhammad after the squeezing. What, what the difference? We should have a picture, a selfie of Muhammad before and after. Okay, he squeezed him first time. Okay, what happened? And obviously, this man is crazy. I would love to be an, a prophet, by the way, like Muhammad, a Muslim prophet specifically. If Allah will send to me a beautiful female angel to squeeze me, and she will say to me, read. I will say to her, I will read whatever you wish. Uh, Christian Prince, uh, focus with me. Here, look, don't, don't look there. Look, here, look, look, look at my eyes. I'm looking. Those are not my eyes. Those are my nipples. Stop doing that. A guy is squeezing a guy, and the other guy don't ask him why you are squeezing him or saying, stop touching me. Why Allah did not send the female to squeeze Muhammad? That would be nice. A girl from Hawaii, and, you know, she have a flower in her head. She said to him, I mean, this is more beautiful. Lead, the prophet will say to her, whatever you wish. Read in the name of your Lord, or I will squeeze you. He will say to her, please squeeze me. I will not read then. I think Muhammad did not read on purpose because he liked the first squeezing. So the guy, he said to him, read. He don't read, and he got the second squeezing. And then the angel, he noticed that doesn't matter how many times he will squeeze him, Muhammad will not read. So he stopped. Hmm?
any Muslim I think Muhammad was on purpose not reading because he want more squeezing imagine Muhammad making a video clip of this squeeze me baby and then just says to him read cut me hard baby he cut me so hard and he pressed me he pressed you where I want to know where what do you mean he cut you and he pressed you he pressed you where exactly he throw you in the floor and he jump on you what is that I cannot draw today I lost because the Muslims they curse me and since they curse me my fingers are not working for a drawing so if I try now to, to draw the squeezing of the Prophet the squeezing will uh, come wrong so if we say that this is the Prophet Muhammad and this is his uh, his buddy see I told you I told you it's going to go wrong you see he cursed me and then the angel he squeezed him. So after squeezing, Muhammad body like became like this. After squeezing, I mean, isn't it obvious that this man is a crazy? What about Muhammad? He have a he, he have a what? He have a mechanic. Uh, what they call it, mechanic what? Somebody help me like when you take the engine and you I mean, what is that? Have you ever heard of a prophet? The angels they take off his belly out of they took his stomach his liver his heart they took everything and For what to get ready to be a prophet? Isn't it obviously that this man is a crazy? Uh, uh, brother Jibreel, I think you forget his testicles, brother. What the heck is that? Who want to believe in such a story? And why only they happen to Muhammad? So when we show you a reference, it says Muhammad was bewitched and he imagined things. Obviously, this is imagination too. By the way, brother. The same happened to me, brother. Three angels, brother. They come to me and cut me from here to here. And uh, by the way, do you know why we have Billy Baum according to Muhammad? Anyone knows why? Why we have Billy Baum? Anyone knows? Because Shaitan, he spit. He was spitting at Adam. At the angels and little of his spit came as his, his belly and this is where Billy bomb came according to Islam brother and by the way this is true if you don't believe me I can call Zachary Naik for you <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah and the angel was squeezing the prophet and the angels were like what I mean come on I mean, just let me go, man. I can't have to breathe, huh? Yeah. True story. Anyway, guys, we will give you a 40 minute to download the video before we take it off. How many of you will download it? Let us see. How many of you will download the video? We'll give you 40 minutes. After that, the video will be gone. Uh I want to say thank you Muslims for helping me to prove Islam to be silly and stupid and ever so a Muslim he can give us anything can be considered a little bit smart it is sad that any human being will believe in such a madness like this it's really sad this is cannot be from God that's cannot be from God no I will not take a break I have somebody waiting for me he is a Muslim he have his sister with him his sister became a Christian because of me and he is angry and now he want to debate me but in private in Skype and I think now he's listening so he is upset from me because his sister 
became a Christian her, she became a Christian and her kids too she is not a young woman she is you know she is like in her 40 so he is upset and he is so angry and he is going to get me busted as he told his sister he said if he is a man he let him agree to talk to me why he talk only to you at first I did not talk only to her you know not only her it was a group same time we will see after this guy he talked to me uh, and I will not hang up on him until he hang up <laughs> but I can say I can't say until he became a Christian what if he did not <laughs> uh, but I am so glad that he's listening so now he the same questions we gave to the Abdul previously we can give it to him as long as he is listening let us see what will happen uh you know you see what what's happening always muslims they think they can challenge the uh, challenge me but the fact you are not challenging me my friend you are challenging me the, the truth it's not me you, you know you lose not because you are fighting me my friend you are fighting the truth and the jesus he said i am the truth i am the way i am the life i am the resurrection no one goes but by me i am the gate i am the door to be more accurate the door of life the door of salvation so my friend you are not fighting me this is why you lose and you will always lose two things are needed for victory faith and knowledge satan he can conquer you if you have only one of them or you don't have them both if you have faith but you don't have knowledge he can play with you with your mind if you are a fool he can fool you victory is guaranteed and muslims cannot be victorious by knowledge because their knowledge is stupid this is their knowledge look read with me this is their books when we say this is their books this is their knowledge their knowledge is a foolishness so we are victorious by the lord and we don't hate the muslims we are not fighting the muslims we are fighting ignorant ignorance is our enemy the muslim is a poor man they grow up in a family they told him muhammad's prophet is the greatest etc he open tv he hear the same he go to the bathroom in the middle east even when i go to the bathroom to do <coughs> Even there we hear Quran. You open TV, the amazing prophet. You open the radio, the beautiful prophet. You open the book of the school, the most amazing man in the world. It doesn't matter where you go. So why you are not understanding that they are victims? You are victims. Mind control. To the point they cannot let them think and if he think they if the if one of them when I get smart He will be killed And this is why we are victorious The internet today open doors to go right now. I am right now in the bedroom of Ferris. He like it He don't like it. He is addicted to my pro to, to my live show All the Muslims who come here they are addicted the second you come here once, you Muslims, you cannot leave. Because you notice that you are learning about your stupid cult. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I'm not going to keep you long. Because as long as I stay, you guys, you stay. And then many of you get divorced because your wife, she will complain. Or in the best scenario, she will hit you with high heels in your head. And then you will sue me for losing your mind, brother. So we better go home. And take care of our family and educate your children and wash dishes your wife is watching and your mother-in-law she is waiting for a phone call <laughs> you better not to make them upset it's very dangerous thank God I'm single and I know it <laughs> thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and they will see you again don't forget if you like to read more to understand more you can get my books from amazon.com just type a christian prince or amazon spain amazon france germany etc my books translated to many languages and more languages to come just search for my name in amazon you will find the list of my books i want to say thank you may the lord bless you and until we see you again christ is lord islam is false and don't forget to download the video
15 to 20 minutes after the video is loaded. Thank you very much. Take care.